from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for September 6, 2016. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the USD CAD, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar for today's trade analysis. Now, before I get into the chart analysis, it's important to note that over the next few days, we have some important news out of Canada that could definitely affect this currency pair. Coming up at 10 a.m. Eastern on Wednesday, we had the Bank of Canada rate statement, overnight rate information. So you want to pay attention to that coming into Wednesday. That could dramatically affect this currency pair if there is any surprise to that rate statement that the market has for us. Then we go all the way into Friday and we get some employment data out of Canada. Employment change, unemployment rate out of Canada on Friday at 8.30 a.m. So some significant news that could affect this currency pair as we go through the week. And of course, there is some other U.S. data as well as we go through this week that could affect this currency pair. And of course, as always, in the live trade room, we typically look at oil prices as well as an indicator of uh, inverse direction of which this uh, currency pair could go. If oil prices are on the rise, we typically expect this to go down and vice versa. So anyway, several different things to think about with this currency pair. Let's concentrate on the day today. We're looking at the US CAD daily time frame. Previous downtrend, not too hard to see that uh, underneath the red trend line, clear downtrend. But since then, we've somewhat gone into a range, if you will, inside the black box that you see here on the chart. Since, uh, and let's get to the cross here, and we'll go all the way back into uh, early part of May. Since early part of May, we've just been bouncing around inside of this black box. So that's going to be our important information for the day today. Let's zoom it in a couple of times. Uh, you can see the black box there again, 100 period moving average coming into the middle of that black box. You can see that right there into the blue shaded area, the green line coming into the chart. So we're in the middle of the moving average or the price average over that past 100 days for the U.S. CAD. So we're underneath it today. So that's important, I think, for the day today. As long as we're underneath it, there could be a bias to the bear side. We also look down to the bottom of the chart. The Forex black book is red, which gives us a bearish bias as well, let's go ahead and zoom it in one more time here on the daily time frame. I took Fibonacci from the last low, the last little leg of the upside from the yellow shaded area at the bottom from the last low to the current resistance high all the way up here at the top, actually another yellow shaded area. So between the here and here, I took Fibonacci, 618 Fibonacci retracement level just here at the bottom of our blue shaded area at 1.2810. So we're underneath the 618 Fib. We're challenging underneath what has been a, a historical support resistance level. Look back here. You can see the congestion inside the blue zone between uh, 2915 and 2945. Uh, we're underneath the 100 period moving average. So all of that with the bearish momentum we have right now gives us some expectation. As long as it stays underneath this blue shaded area, the next target or next support would be the orange shaded area on the way back down towards the 2865-2840 level, which is this orange shaded area right here. Look back in time. Underneath the blue zone, we saw a couple of challenges back to the orange zone. Underneath the blue zone, down to the orange zone, and then to the yellow zone. Look back here on the left-hand side, underneath the blue zone, to the orange zone. Underneath the blue zone, to the orange zone. So we know that there's a tendency underneath that blue shaded area, basically 2915, 2945, that it continues to drift down towards the orange shaded area before it finds support again like it did here, here, and here. So we'll definitely watch for that as we go through our day today. If we're going to focus on that current momentum in the selling direction, we want to see oil prices take another run towards resistance, which would cause this currency pair to go down. We want to see some positive news out of Canada that would cause this currency pair to go down. We maybe want to see some negative data out of the U.S. In fact, today, coming up not too far from now, we have ISM non-manufacturing PMI at 10 a.m. today for the U.S. If that comes out lower than the forecast, that would cause this currency pair to go down. So fundamentally, we have a few things to watch for to cause this to go down. Technically, we're underneath the blue zone, the 100 period moving average, 618 FIB. So that would ex give us some higher expectation that this could go down. So as long as it's underneath there, that's what I'm going to focus my efforts in. Our risk in this scenario, 
Of course, stop losses would be above the blue zone, and the risk is it breaks back above there and starts working its way back up to the next resistance, which would be the pink zone. And all of those technicals need to break. It needs to break back above the 100 moving average. It needs to break back above the 618 and the blue shaded area. And we need to see positive news for the U.S. and negative news for Canada and continue falling oil prices. If we see that continue, then we could look for it back above the blue shaded area. Lots of factors to consider here. So... The trade decision for me today is selling under the blue zone. Risk or stop loss is above the blue zone. And at this point, I think it's up to close towards the 2960-65 level if you look for a, a, a singular stop loss like that. And we're going to target at least to the orange shaded area, which we've seen support here before. If not beyond that orange shaded area, we could even see it if we get a significant run all the way back down into the 2770, 2740 level, the yellow shaded area down here at the very bottom of the chart. So two potential targets, orange and yellow. Break back above the blue zone would be our risk in the scenario. Four-hour time frame doesn't really change it, that analysis, but what I will say is, take a look. We have a four-hour candle that has opened underneath that blue zone. Uh, as folks that are in my live trade room know, that is, uh, if I see an open and a close, it gives me higher confidence that it's going to continue to go lower, so that's what I'm going to look for. This candle to close under the blue zone increases my confidence. We look for it to go down towards the orange shaded area. I have already set up a pending order at 1.2910 just at the 6.8 fib of the previous uptrend. So as long as it stays underneath there, I'd like to see this four hour candle close. That will increase my confidence that we're looking for the continuation towards the orange zone for the US CAD today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.